The Beetle is one of the few cars that has kept its shape, even after almost a century of life. Let's see the evolution of the little Beetle over time. As a concept, the VW Beetle was a two-door automobile that offered seating for three passengers and a driver and a rear-mounted engine. At first, the car produced at that time were intended only for the Nazi elites. Although 150,000 Germans were on the waiting list, it was not until the 1945 that the first Type 1s were produced, numbering 1785. After the end of the war, production began to flourish, leaving the factory gates with the one millionth car. This was a 30 HP Beetle, gold in color and equipped with a chrome bar and sparkling stones. On July 22, 1949, the Type 15 model, the convertible version of the Frog, is presented. The Beetle was built on an X-Type chassis, had a rounded appearance and flat windows. And from 1949, the car came with a split window. As the Beetle became more and more popular, it was improved. In 1952, the second, third and fourth gears of transmission with synchronization were installed. After the war, the only engine available was a 1.1-liter unit, but over time it evolved to a 1.2-liter unit. At the beginning of the 60s, the Beetle was also introduced to the market in the United States of America, where it managed to gain a lot of popularity. And even then, statistics show that every second car driven on German roads was a Volkswagen Beetle. They were also used for a wide variety of purposes, even as police cars. The first models of the third generation had a sunroof, and the steel bumpers were replaced by more sophisticated ones. In this generation, a convertible Beetle was also launched, being the first generation of Beetle to feature tubeless tires. From 1961, VW offered an optional, semi-automatic Saxon Mad gearbox. In 1966, a new 1.3-liter engine was introduced, producing 51 horsepower in place of the previous 1.2-liter engine. And from 1967, a large 1.5-liter engine was launched, producing 54 horsepower. Later, the Beetle was updated with new design elements, but also with modern equipment, such as a retractable steering column in the event of an impact, a rear-view mirror, strong bumpers, and a dual-circuit braking system. In 1971, the Super Beetle was added to the Volkswagen lineup and featured a McPherson strut front suspension compared to the torsion bar front suspension used on the other models. The following year, the Super Beetle added a large rear window, more engine ventilation, tail lights with built-in reverse lights, and an energy-absorbing steering column. The trim level of the Super Beetle continued to increase until 1968 for the hardtop and 1979 for the convertible. But the Beetle's glory years began to wane by the 1970s, with production being halted in Germany in 1978. However, the legendary car continued to be produced in Mexico until 2003. In total, between 1983 and 2003, approximately 22.5 million units were produced, the last 3,000 Type 1 Beetles being special, called the Ultima Edition. Volkswagen revived the legendary little car in 1998 when the new Beetle was reintroduced. It came with a modern design, but at the same time retro, and was addressed to a new generation of drivers. The exterior has borrowed some elements from the old Beetle, such as the rounded shape, curved, oversized wings. The exterior design language was uniform, with no big difference between the front and back of the car, featuring rounded slanted headlights and taillights. The retro aspect of the rounded shapes were also found inside, in the area of the instrument cluster, but also in the air vents. Moreover, VW has brought back the vase for flowers inside the car, a concept that appeared since the first Beatles, from the need to perfume the interior with fresh flowers. Unlike the original Beetle, the new Beetle was front-engined and shared its underpinnings with the well-known Golf. Also, two engine options were available, a 2-liter 115-horsepower four-cylinder and a 1.9-liter TDI diesel. The new Beetle could go from 0 to 60 seconds in 7.3 seconds. In 2001, Volkswagen built 251 limited edition RSI models for Europe, equipped with a 221 horsepower 3.2 liter V6, 4 motion all wheel drive, and a 6 speed manual transmission. 250 RSIs were painted silver with orange seats inside, only one was blue and belonged to a former VW manager. In 2003, to make it even cooler, Volkswagen introduced a convertible version of the new Beetle. Time was passing and the new Beetle could no longer be called that forever. 
So in 2006, Volkswagen introduced a revised version for both the hatchback and the convertible version, now with more angular bumpers and fenders with creases. The biggest change was under the hood, where a 2.5-liter 150-horsepower engine was introduced, the TDI diesel model being discontinued. The next generation Beetle was introduced in 2011, and designers brought the Beetle shape back closer to the original, meaning a tapered rear with a vertical windshield and a somewhat flattened roof. Also, this model had a lower position, a longer and wider body, and for the first time, bi xenon headlights were available, as well as LED daytime running lights. The interior is quite refined, equipped with a 6.5-inch touchscreen infotainment system. The 2011 Beetle shares the A5 platform with the current generation Volkswagen Jetta. And under the hood, Volkswagen installed engines that range from a 1.2-liter to a 197-horsepower 2-liter GTI. A convertible version was shown at the Los Angeles Auto Show in November 2012. In 2013, Volkswagen introduced a limited-edition Beetle GSR built after the original 1973 Special Edition Super Beetle, called a GSR. It is painted in yellow and black, thus explaining the three initials from the German word – Gelb, Schwarz, Renner, meaning yellow-black rays. The 3500 Beetle comes equipped with Volkswagen's 2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that produces 210 horsepower. It is also the only Volkswagen that comes with a boost indicator from the factory. And inside, on the steering wheel, we find a metal plate with the car's serial number. In 2016, the Beetle Coupe and the Cabriolet received a facelift version, with a lower roof and a more vertical windshield. This model came with three engine options, a 1.8-liter producing 170 horsepower, a 2-liter with 150 horsepower, and the most powerful, a 2-liter four-cylinder developing 220 horsepower. The top of the range was a dune version of the Beetle, which was taller and wider than the others. In 2018, Volkswagen announced that it was abandoning the production of the iconic Beetle, which after more than 80 years caused a sensation all over the world and remained an important cornerstone in the automotive industry. The Beetle ended its journey with two models, Final Edition and Final Edition SEL, equipped with a 2-liter TSI engine that produced 174 horsepower, 